Aloha! It's the CU Podcast. Jesus for Christ. T- Tuesday, <laughs> September 10th, 2019, alongside Ian Ferguson. Hello, I'm Pat Contry. We'll be discussing lots of fun stuff like the Nintendo Direct and Terry coming on board. Smash Brothers. I'm upset about that, Ian. Um, the Super Nintendo games added to Switch Online. Out of nowhere, Neo Geo Joystick with built in fighting games, Dreamcast 20th Anniversary. The first look at the new GameStop and more. Ian, did you know aloha not just means hello, it also means love. Yeah, and also goodbye. It's love. It means a lot of things, I think. I went to Hawaii uh-huh. the past three, four days. You Which, hit us up. Tell us what that's all about. Do I look? Do I have a glow about me? I, I'm not really tanned that much. I use sunscreen. Uh, the first thing I did was look for a tan, and I didn't see one, so I assume you must deathly, have had a bad time. I'm deathly afraid of, afraid of melanoma, so I, I do like SPF 30 or 50, and plus I have olive skin, so it deflects a little bit. But no, I, I had fun. Um, I I, uh, I went over on, was it Thursday? Wednesday night, red eye, Thursday. So I was there for like three, three, three and a quarter days. And um, there'll be a picture, a slideshow on the on the video version that Kieran will put in. I, I did a I did a hike into the rainforest, so that's what I guess what people don't realize about Hawaii is that there's no rainforest in the continental U.S. It's just Hawaii, so there's no jungle you can visit in the U.S. You get close, but you don't really get a jungle. So it's like jungle all around, like in people's backyards. Mm-hmm. And this was on the east coast, the east side of Oahu, which is like the second biggest island. That's where um, Honolulu is in Waikiki. So there's a lot of tourist stuff there. In, um, and obviously, Island of Maui is a lot of tourist stuff. Those are like the two touristy islands. So on the on the east side, though, it was more like the wilderness and like the farm, the country, right? So I decided while I was waiting for my friend to get out of work, I decided to go look up like local like trails to go hiking. And there was one like 10 minutes away, 10 minute Uber. I get dropped off and it's like a neighborhood. You're like, what is this? It's in a neighborhood. It's like picturing like back at home, like you, someone lives near the woods, except this is a massive rainforest that you live around. <laughs> And, and 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 so I did this hike, and it was about an hour, twenty minutes, one way to get to these waterfalls. That's the goal: get to these water, this waterfall. You can go taking taking a swim, and hopefully not get eaten by a sea creature or a lake monster. Um, and it said moderate on the uh, on the like there's like a trails.com sort of site. And so I went there. Uh, what is it? What, what was it? Was it Monawili Falls? Monawili Falls. It said moderate. Yeah, Monawili Falls. That's right. Went and. It was difficult, and I, my first uh, my first indication was like there was no old people walking this trail. It was like everyone like twenty five and under, and I used to go hiking with my dad, you know, and somewhat difficult stuff when I was like twelve, thirteen. But that was like wasn't rainforest stuff, and so the warning was like it was really going to be muddy, and expect to be covered in mud. It wasn't covered in mud, but it was like sometimes up to your knees because it was it was there was some danger happening here. I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> bracing myself there was like you had to go down some rocks you had to cross the cross the the the, the river you had to cross the stream almost a river like three times which was only like knee deep at most it wasn't like dangerous dangerous but you got muddy it was and there was some steep stuff going on and uh and so i got to the waterfall and it was fun and i didn't go all the way in i went up like to waist high because like the rocks were weird i was afraid of i scraped my foot i was afraid of like twisting an ankle plus with my shoulder i literally hurt it same shoulder i threw out in the punching bag a heavy bag a year and a half ago i didn't want to in case i got in trouble and not swim my, my arm give out but i uh, i went that that was fun that was really fun we did a farmer's market local Ooh. farmer's market that was good got the local um uh papaya soft serve ice cream with mm. vanilla mixed in it was delicious nice local local grass-fed burgers uh really good um, and then, um, let's see, go in the order of the stuff we did. Then I went to, uh, on, on, uh, on Saturday, we went to, uh, Kualoa Ranch, which is a huge, like 5,000 acre private reserve. It's not, it's not a state park. It's a, but it might as well be, it's a private reserve. And if you've ever seen Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, that's Kualoa Ranch or Jumanji, any any Hollywood movie that needs a rainforest or, you know, the open plains with, like, mountains in the background, and that's Kualoa Ranch. It's it's majestic. It's beautiful. Um, that was worth it. Like, so you did, like, a little tour on a bus, and you stopped at different areas, and you got to walk around, and I wanted to run away. 
Like I wanted to just like run up into the mountains and be away from civilization when I was standing there because it was like so serene. You just heard some birds chirping. And that's the one thing about, I guess, Hawaii they don't tell you is that there's no snakes. That's why they're very like, they're, you'll go to prison if you try to bring a snake into the country. Oh. Like it's, there's they no don't, snakes. There's no snakes. Um, and there's no like a lot of critters either. So there's like, there's like some pigs that, I mean, pigs were brought over, I think, or they had pigs, I forget. No, I think they're brought, I don't know. They have pigs? Uh, anyway, so um, there's no like squirrels or like lots of, and there's like lizards and stuff like that, but there's no like, there's no like bears to worry about or like mam like big mammals, if that makes sense. You don't have to worry about that stuff. So like, I'm just like standing here, pristine, you know, no, no snakes on the ground to worry about. And then I just wanted to, like, I just wanted to like, be done with everything. I just wanted to go up to the mountains and live like a mountain man in, in Hawaii on the ranch there. But there was a wedding going on there at the same time. Uh, but yeah, they, they did like a movie tour. Like they, they film like uh, obviously stuff from Hawaii Five O. We saw the Gilligan's Island Island, which is like literally right off the beach there. So they, oh, there's where they filmed Gilligan's Island there. They could just walk to shore from there <laughs> if they really wanted to. Uh, and it was it was incredible. It, it was like so so worth it. And then we also did like a little tour of like the little farm and got to eat like local dried fish, like like fish jerky mm. and uh, star fruit, which I never had before. Oh, star fruit's good. Really good. And yeah, it was really nice. They did dried star I, fruit? I just want, I want, I want to do a Hawaiian diet and get like ripped and just eat like fish and fruit, you know, and the, and the poi, the poi, which is like the, like their form of rice. It's like the uh, purplish gel thing they make. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? It's delicious. And then on Sunday, went to the beach. Uh, we went to uh, 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 was it Kailua uh, Beach? Is one of the top rated beaches. Like, it's on continental U.S., but it's beautiful, pristine. I, I, you know, I haven't been into the Pacific Ocean. I know it's my my story is very tiring. Here. It's, Ocean? It's, it's like doing it's like doing a slideshow. Um, I have not been in the Pacific. We're right here, but I went because these are like not crystal crystal clear like we hear about Bermuda, but it was like aqua blue you've literally never put your feet in the water no, i put my feet in the water i've never like dove in oh okay but i went into the i went into the hawaiian beach and it was great and there was like not really many people there it's like new jersey you got to get there by like 7 30 in the morning or else it's packed people started coming i guess it's a whole they call it island time people started coming at like 10 30 11 when we were leaving <laughs> you know and then of course you had to do the luau you got to do the luau it was an incredible presentation they did they did dances representing uh you know uh, new zealand hawaii uh, Samoa. Um, they didn't do a one from Tonga and Tahiti, and it was, it was great. It was, you know, so I, it was fun. It was relaxing. You know, that's why I feel really, really laid back. So if any weird stuff happened over the weekend, you know, I don't care about it. I'm just, and I got, I got my shells here. There you go. I'll be, I'll be wearing this every podcast going forward. No, that's not going to happen. Um, but no, I, I obviously Hawaii is not. Um, the, 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 like depending where you are, it's, it could be probably really expensive to fly there if you're on the East Coast. Probably like really expensive, but um, I'd, I'd recommend getting out there. I don't know if I could do a whole week. I think a three three days was fine. Probably like four to five is probably the sweet spot for Hawaii because I was exhausted. Uh, probably probably could from that hike itself where I almost died. But uh, it, it it was funny. Ian. Ian, did you miss me? No, no. Okay, great. Um, you were gone for three days, Pat. Three and a quarter. Well, the food sounds amusing. Well, actually, no. I was there for three and a quarter. I left on Wednesday night, but yeah, four days. I want to eat the fish jerky. It was good. That's and that's... then my then my friend took took bag took a, took a bag back and put it on the counter, and then Benny the cat got in there oh, and ate it all. That doesn't surprise me. I was going to say all. like, like why, why didn't you put it away? He's like, I don't, she said, I don't, I don't know. And like Benny just ate it all. Like it was like probably <laughs> the best food ever. From was like, what the hell is this? And got in there. Mmm, delicious. Well, while you were gone, I. Uh... Played video games. I uh, started what playing... What are those? They're a game. <clears throat> I started playing um, Monster Hunter World again, which is going to be bad. Big expansion came out this week, so I'm trying to get caught up on that. But uh, I also started playing River City Girls. I started playing that yesterday. Uh, that's WayForward's new release. Um, obviously a take on River City Ransom, only this we time... We discussed it before, yeah, I think. Yep. But this time, the boys are kidnapped and the girls must do the rescuing. Um, I was sh not shocked. I, I guess I was shocked. That was like trending on Twitter when I saw it from a while. I was like, wow, people, everyone's talking about this game. Like people are really into it. Well, I mean, I've only played a little bit of it. I played uh, some co-op with Vani last night. We played about an hour, hour and a half. Um, graphically, it looks great. Um, it feels good. Like uh, it, it's responsive. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I just saw this one errant review that said that it was very unresponsive on the Switch. I have no idea what that could be in reference to because everything felt snappy. Everything that I wanted to do, the controls were okay. We're doing um, the soundtrack by Megan McDuffie, and there's some guest artists on there too, like uh, Chipsel, I believe. Um, the soundtrack is awesome. Um, it's funny. Graphically, it looks nice. Uh, and there cutscenes. There's cutscenes. There's like manga style cutscenes, okay. and, and then also like River City Ransom. There's tons of upgrades. You can buy new attacks, new combos. You can buy food to take with you. So it go has the all. Mall. So it has all the stores and stuff that okay. you can go into. Get a massage. Um, go to the shower. Get... <laughs> haven't noticed that yet. Then again, I haven't played very. Far. I was gonna say, being that they're high school girls, they probably can't have you showering. Hey, wait, wait a second. They were high school boys. I was gonna say that, that was some <laughs> that was some inappropriate stuff that, that we saw 30 years. Ago, River City Ransom. Um, so some boy butt. It looks like there is a bit of a grind in the beginning to get you know up to the point where you've got a bunch of fancy combos and stuff like that. But I'm enjoying it. Um, the difficulty level seems to be about right. Um, there's a nice mechanic where so basically if you both die on the same screen, it restarts you back at the beginning of that that screen. So you have at to fight. Screen. So you have to fight through everything again, but not super far but back. Now, you don't, you yeah, don't it doesn't it back. doesn't okay. set you insanely far back. Um, but when your partner gets knocked out, um, they lay on the ground and a little ghost starts flying out of them. If you can get over to your partner in time, you can actually keep stomping them. And as you stomp them, it stomps their spirit oh, back inside them. That's CPR. You <laughs> stomp on their face you and chest. Stomp, you literally stomp their spirit back into them and uh, they'll come back to life with a, you know, a little bit more life. That's and, a pretty cool one because then you have to like so, keep the other enemies at bay, well, do some stomping and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a basic co-op mechanic, but you know, not one that I've seen a lot in beat-em-ups and in this one, it's, it's it's pretty funny to see it happen. Did you unlock the dab attack? No, I have not. No, I, like I said, I'm I only about an hour, that. hour, two hours in, and uh, apparently the game looks like there's quite a bit to it. There's a lot to do and accomplish. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, Limited Run is doing a physical release. I believe you have until the 28th to pre-order mm. that if you're interested. Um, okay. And uh, what does it cost uh, digitally? I think it's 30 or 30. I think it's the same either way. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, way forward. Seems like they hit it out of the park with this one. Uh, hopefully I'll, you know, be finishing the game sometime this week or at least playing more of it and we'll see. But uh, I know I was a little bit concerned about it when it was announced. It seems like that was mostly unfounded. It seems like they did a really good job. You turned so. around and wait for it, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Turned it around. It's since the beginning of the podcast. Like, ah, way forward. Punched my, my cat in the face. Hey, let, mm. don't let it be said that I can't you know have my opinion changed no well you know I, I can do a 50 minute video on it you know if i don't like it um so let's see it's kyoko and misaku they have this, they have different moves or similar moves different moves they're different moves okay so that's the, river, the original river city ransom they have the same moves so that's cool that they switch at least up. as far as i could tell it looked like they had different moves yeah. six regions of river city to rescue their kidnapped boyfriends uh kunio and ricky those, those are the original guys uh, going on there um cool yeah i'm interested in this uh, and and you, we can play this, you know, we can play it on, on Switch, Ian. We can do that. Indeed, we can. We, only, we, only, we, only, we, never, we never did Final Fight. Uh, yeah, we together. did. Did we? No, we did something else together. Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't get out of the, you wouldn't get out of the, 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 uh, the, the what the hell was the, the other one we played? Oh, I was like three levels in. What's that? I was like three levels in. Oh, whatever. You don't love me. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Fantastic soundtrack featuring Nate Wants to Battle, Chip Zai, Christina V, and Megan McDuffel. McDuffie. Uh, six, uh, lots of weapons. But, okay, cool. And guest appearances by classic River City characters. Well, I guess if you know the the lore of River City, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be in for a, a treat there. Okay. Um, so, uh, Ian, you also got to play the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, Sega of America sent us a review copy. Yes, uh, we got a review unit. Yes, I uh, I, yeah. I set it up, gave it a shot. First things uh, I'll notice just the presentation of it. Um, so the Sega Genesis Mini is a small Genesis. You hook it up via HDMI to your TV. It contains 42 games. Uh, it's following in the footsteps of Nintendo uh, doing the NES and Super Nintendo ones. Sony did the PlayStation Mini. Uh, so now uh, Neo Sega, Geo one came out last year yep, as well. Neo Geo one. Sega has had a series of um, minis. I guess you could call them come out via at games and the emulation was not good. Emulation. There was a lot of problems with them. 
so uh, Sega kind of took it into their own hands. They made their own. Uh, M2 handled the emulation uh, of the games. So it looks awesome. The system is nice. It's, they say it's 55% uh, the size of the original uh, Model 1 Genesis. I would say it's got to be smaller than that. The thing is... Oh, how many inches do you think? It's like... Six inches? Yeah, it's it's small. Good catch. Um, <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> um, so it, it, it's it's very small, uh, but it has you know the pushable reset button to reset it. Oh, it, that original little guy. Yep the uh, the Semi switch the switch works. It turns on and off, Ooh. and then it does nothing. But I think they're cute. It's it, it's a cute little thing to notice. Uh, the volume slider goes up and down on it, and the cartridge slot actually opens. Um, okay. So it, it's just it's just a, attention to detail. It, it's just a neat little detail. Expansion port. Uh, that I did not look at. I thought I heard you, there's an expansion port thing you can take a little piece of plastic out of. Uh, I, ha I didn't look. Um, they probably did. When you turn it on, it gives you the little red light. So, I mean, okay. it, it's it's very cute. It's it's 100% a small Sega Genesis. Uh, the controls. Um, now, I've heard of some people having issues with them out of the box. What well, comes with two controllers? Two. Two comes wired? Two wired, three button controllers. Uh, we did not have any problems with the one that came with ours. Um... They feel nice. I can't speak to the quality of them, but there was an attention to detail in um, creating the controller. The controller feels nice to hold. It feels like a Genesis controller. The buttons feel right. It doesn't feel cheap or like a knockoff. It feels like a, a yeah, Genesis so it, controller. Yeah, so it feels like it should. Um, and like I said, we had no quality issues with the two that, that arrived to us. The system itself, um, turn it on basic menu options you can scroll through the cover art of the games you can set it up so that you can look at the spines of the games like it's a, a game shelf mm -hmm. uh, there are options for things such as uh, you know scan lines and things like that the games look uh, fantastic on it they look great um, and I played Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I played Altered Beast, I played Tetris, I played the new Dar uh, the Darius port, uh, and I played a little Alyssa Dragoon um, to test it out. They all look good, they all play nicely. Um, there has been rumors of sound issues going around, not rumors, but uh, complaints of sound issues going around. Um, I noticed that it was definitely laggy audio-wise in some games, and some it didn't seem like I could sound effects and music. It was, sound effects, it was mostly. A bit Just, yeah, the the sound effects were behind. Um, some games I didn't notice it as badly on, but like Tetris, I could tell that there was a you know a lag between the. So like two tenths of a second or a tenth of a second, like it's noticeable. Yeah, it, it's noticeable. It's not the end of the world, okay. but it's noticeable. Um, from what I've heard, the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo minis had these same sort of issues, and I, I, I honestly, like I said, the Tetris, it's pretty noticeable, and it seemed like it was more noticeable on the um, on uh, the Altered Beast as well, but. I'd have to kind of I, I think for me I'm not saying that's not easy for other people to point out but I think it would have to kind of be point out in some of the instances gotcha. for me to notice it so but there wasn't lag in the gameplay no no lag in the gameplay that I could detect uh, no no everything felt well, snappy maybe the audio issue they can work out in new batches they could always potentially you know up, uh, fix that with firmware is there a USB out on, on there or in on this unit so you can update maybe <coughs> I think there is yes I'd have to double check. Okay, because that. that'd be good. Good if they can put it online. If it is a firmware thing, um, the sound is also it, it feels cut out at the low end. It definitely sounds less bassy. Less bassy. Yeah. Um, other than that, you know, I, it is a fantastic selection of games. Um, it's eighty bucks. They're emulated well uh, in terms of you know at least graphic graphics and response are accurate. Sounds a little laggy. Um, not all of the games necessarily have all of the options that I would have thought they did. If you look at how M2 handled certain things on, say, the 3DS, uh, their ports had, you know, uh, you could choose between various revisions of games and stuff okay. like that. Uh, not all of that was included here. It's a bummer, but it's it's not... Once again, it's not anything that would cause me to look at this and say, if you're interested, don't get it. Um, I, I think that it is a worthwhile collection of games. Uh, you can get a CRT filter. 
Looks like a uh, fantastic collection of games. And if you don't feel if you're not collecting Genesis and you don't feel like dropping the money on an analog, I think there is something to be said for this yeah. specific Sega Mini because it's giving you a lot of good stuff and some deep cuts too that I don't you, think yeah. you would have expected even two years ago if they were to release this thing. You get like the heart and soul of what's popular on the system. I, I my complaint is about the lack of sports games, but. You know, maybe some people don't care about that. That's to me the only glaring sort of issue I see on here. Otherwise, you get some early titles. You get, like you said, you get some some deep cuts. Like I'm I'm shocked they put something like Alicia Dragoon on on there. It's like it's a great game. I'm just like shocked that that would be on there because people yeah. never bring that game up. Um, and then even you get the uh, couple of games that weren't released. You get the Tetris and the and the Darius. So like yeah. the Darius is a it's a uh, it's an impressive impressive version. So. Yeah, I, I, the, this, it's an excellent list, minus the sports games to me. Um, uh, I, there. I would simply say that if anyone has any, you know, wants to know more about the, the nitty-gritty tech details, um, Corey and Mark from My Life in Gaming do have a video up. Uh, it's quality as always. I would suggest, you know, perhaps check out what they have to say if sure. you want more of the, um, the detail that I can't give. Sure. All right, well, Ian, maybe, uh, you know, you can let Pat get that finish this video at some point. And uh, I can play some games with you. Mm -hmm. That was creepy. Mm -hmm. 